Living Church family. It is so good to be here with you again today for another Advent Sunday. Christmas time can be super busy. There's lots of things going on in the world right now that can make us feel stressed out. Do you ever feel like that or anxious? But today's story, we're going to talk about this. Shalom, that is the Hebrew word for peace. When we talk about peace, we don't just mean that there's not any fighting or not any war. We mean those things, but also we mean a special feeling of not having any troubles, not having any worries, feeling calm and comforted and safe. Let's take a look at our story today and see what it has to do with Shalom. This is how the Prince of Peace was born. His mother, Mary, was engaged to be married to Joseph. When Joseph found out she was having a baby, he was upset. While he was trying to figure out what to do, he had a dream. God's angel said, Joseph, son of David, don't be afraid to get married. Mary's baby is from God. He will be called God with us. He will be the Prince of Peace that Isaiah talked about long ago. Then Joseph woke up. He did exactly what God's angel commanded in the dream. At that time, the Roman Emperor Augustus decreed that a census should be taken throughout the Roman Empire. Everyone had to go to the town where their family was from to register for the census. And because Joseph was a descendant of King David, he had to go to Bethlehem in Judea, David's ancient home. He traveled there from the village of Nazareth in Galilee, and he took with him Mary, who was now expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born. She gave birth to her firstborn son. She wrapped him snugly in strips of cloth and laid him in a manger, because there was nowhere else for them to stay. The peace that this baby brought was different from the kind of peace that people can make. How beautiful on the mountains are the feet of those who bring good news. Isaiah 52, 7. Well, church family, I wish every kind of shalom on you this holiday season. I hope that you have a good, quiet time of shalom today. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for your shalom. Help it to surround us and to surround those we love this holiday season. We pray these things in the precious name of Jesus. Amen. It has been very good to be with you, church family. I hope you're doing well, and I will see you again soon. Shalom. Shalom.